The race of reaching space is not a new one. So many businesses tried their luck previously, and now in the 21st century we are witnessing new private agencies like Blue Origin and SpaceX coming forward to take humans for a special adventure. But Blue Origin is also grabbing a lot of attention due to its recent engine failure, a huge setback for the billionaire Amazon founder's wild ambitions. And many people also are comparing this to how utterly insane of an achievement 150 sequential successful SpaceX launches has been. Today we are going to discuss Blue Origin engine failure. What exactly caused the accident? How does it change the company's future? And most importantly, how did the FAA react to the accident? Well, stick around till the end of the video to find out the answers and more. On September 12, 2022, Blue Origin was supposed to launch a flight with a non-crew payload into space using its new Shepard booster. This booster had a foolproof track record, though that was until now, as the recent mission carried out by Blue Origin was a complete failure. It's not the first time it was being subjected to the flight session. In fact, just two months ago, New Shepard successfully carried out its sixth crew flight. So what happened, and what caused this mishap? Nothing can be said with utmost certainty before all the investigations into this matter are completed. So on the day of the launch, everything was normal. The launch did get delayed due to some technical reasons, but there was nothing of concern. Liftoff sequence went as usual, however, one minute and four seconds into the flight, when the rocket had just crossed the 30,000 feet altitude, the failure occurred. The control tower detected the color of fumes coming out of the booster had started to change. And it didn't take long before the capsule detached from the rocket and was propelled away by its thrusters. The capsule was safe as soon as its parachutes deployed, eventually landing safely somewhere in the close vicinity of the West Texas launch site. The problem wasn't the capsule, it was the rocket that got destroyed in the incident. This new Shepard booster was using Blue Origin's BU-3PM engine, and the way this rocket works is similar to SpaceX's rockets. New Shepard is a reusable booster that was supposed to propel the capsule into outer space and land back on Earth after completing its part of the mission. It was the 23rd mission of the New Shepard, including both the flights taken with and without any people on board. And since the rocket's debut in 2015, it was running flawlessly. And suddenly, on this flight, the booster malfunctioned making people question the company's reputation. Thankfully, the capsule's emergency abort system got active on time and brought it back to Earth safely. The representatives at Blue Origin claimed that the mission at least proved that their capsule safety systems are great, and though there was no crew inside the capsule, even if it would have been a crewed flight, still the damage would have been negligible. The force with which the capsule jolted away from the rocket could have caused any injuries but that still needed to be assessed. For now, the safety systems proved to be good enough to not put the life of the crew in danger. On the other hand, the new Shepard booster that was supposed to land back after its brief suborbital trip around space didn't come back. This failure has raised many eyebrows, and an investigation has been started by the US Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, to see what actually happened. With this investigation, Blue Origin is under strict scrutiny by the FAA authorities. According to the FAA, this whole incident of booster failure did not damage any public property nor any human life was harmed. But to ensure that such events do not occur in the future, the new Shepard spacecraft has been grounded, claiming that until the investigation comes to a halt and we have a definite answer as to what caused the accident, the new Shepard rockets cannot conduct any more flights. All this comes under the standard code of conduct of the FAA that they cannot allow any missions to lift off before they have a proper explanation due to which the incident happened. No one knows the magnitude of impact that it will have over Blue Origin as a company which is already struggling to meet deadlines and goals of other projects as well. Since the day of the incident, FAA is asking Blue Origin for their report on the incident. It's the space agency that is prolonging the issue because they haven't submitted any report on why the problem occurred in the first place. The executives at Blue Origins said that at this point, saying and concluding anything related to the incident will be too early. Once again, the executives emphasize the fact 
that the safety systems on the capsule made it come back home safely, proving that their spacecraft is safe. Though the booster got destroyed and the debris landed somewhere away from the launch site. Now whether it was an issue with the engine or some other malfunction which caused the failure still can't be confirmed. With the new Shepard grounded and the investigation undergoing, Blue Origin has started working on another booster named New Glenn. This new booster uses the engine BE-3U, which is an upgrade version of the one used in the New Shepard rocket. I guess this incident might have affected Blue Origin in many ways, but this lag and grounding of New Shepard have provided the agency with time to work on their long-delayed projects that were waiting in the pipeline. New Glenn is one of those delayed projects. Blue Origin has not confirmed the expected date for the flight of their new booster, but we can expect the debut of this new rocket by the next year. You see, all these inventions play a crucial role for the private space agency. The reason is that the vision presented by the company is to make space travel accessible for humans and conduct suborbital space flights, but the fact that this still is in the very initial phases Companies like Blue Origin and SpaceX depend on military and research contracts from the government to maintain the necessary cash flow. And such accidents and failures such as the new Shepard one cause great damage to the companies standing in the market. It's not like Blue Origin had just one new Shepard booster. There are many, but such failures not only impact the company but the space tourism industry as well. What will FAA find out through their investigation, and what's the future of the New Shepard mission? Well, I know that all we can do is wait for the final reports to come out. On that note, I will wrap this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.